new gameplay, although some of you may have seen this on my channel before, that is because I played about, mm, about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 of it, just to get a basic idea of everything, I probably played too long because I started enjoying it, um, and I did manage to get the blue gun, so I know how to get to there, so this won't be a completely blind playthrough, yet it will be mostly blind. So in case you guys didn't know, instead of jumping here you can just walk, although it's more fun to jump. Yeah! And there's the end, yeah. I'm supposed to get there. Oh, but, but. Not this again. I can go around that, but fuck it. So yeah, I know most of the stuff is sort of having to go through it again. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. I'd never figured out what those do. I know there's a secret place here. Sorry if you guys can't see anything, I can barely see anything myself. Oh, and when I when I recorded this the last time, there we are. That should be better. When I recorded this the last time, there was a horrific bug that I had that meant whenever I um, like whenever I s started recording, it would wait 30 seconds. Oh, not this place. It would wait 30 seconds, then stop recording. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out what had gone wrong. And all my friends were saying, buy the real version of Fraps, but I'm using. I was. I had the real version of Fraps. And I thought I was using it the entire time. And then it turned out I was. I had the real. Oh, that just leads nowhere. I had the real version, but I was never actually using it. It's gotta be the stupidest thing ever. Anyways, I know that you can go this way, and that does just lead to the red and blue stairs, but oh well. Best of discover all the signs anyways, after all that will be my aim in this game. Go here again, now I have to walk, or run, as you can. Taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. Oh, nearly forgot about that. We often fall into things we least expect, aka love, or this trapdoor. Which then has a secret exit if you drop out of the last second. Yeah. Dig a little deeper and you may find something new. I'm not going through there. I do know how to get across though, and it was very annoying. But yeah, well, so this is a fall. I did discover a sort of cheat, if you may. It appears impossible, may have a very simple answer. I did discover a sort of cheat, um, which involved basically scouring to heights you never will be able to before life. Oh, these things, these things are creepy. I'll show you the cheat later in a later video. This is basically... Yeah, that, that's just hideous. This is the guy's imagination. The guy who made this game is imagination. Oh. That hurts your eyes. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Mia, no, a girl called Mia. That's the sort of cubes that you have. Um, that's just random. And that's just quite creepy. Now here's a random load of meshy- oh god, yeah, that's the thing I hate. Look at it, it's just creepily hideous. Why? Why did he put that in? Oh, I never saw this. I never actually saw this giant spinner, or this. That's pretty cool. I saw these, I believe. X, Y, Z, on the planes. Is there another plane? No, that would be cool if we put like an extra plane and called it like V. I don't know why V. That's the next letter. But yeah, if you go through here, it's just wow. When you absorb your surroundings, you may notice things that you didn't see before. Yeah, like, oh, not this part. If you carry on going forwards, you just come to the same part, and then it's green behind you. So you sort of have to follow the green areas until you find a way out, which I did not manage to do. Nope! Oh god, no, I'm getting stuck already. Yeah, then through here. And then through here. And then through back here. And I'm completely lost. There we are, back at the start. Okay, how did I do this the last time? I know you go right there. I think you go straight towards there, then across here. Oh, here it is. Nope. Possibly not. Do, 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 do. 
There it is. So close yet so far. If you never stop trying, you'll get there eventually. Yes, I will. Anyways, with this thing, it's very clever. Notice how large these panes are. They take up the entire screen. Now watch. I start sprinting around. Yeah, I'll come to the same point I was before, and there's a dog. Some choices can leave us running around in circles. Now, before you start getting confused, look at how big it is now. It doesn't take up the entire screen, does it? So you run around a bit more, and now look how little it takes. Keep running around, and now look. So yeah, by now you've realised it'll just end like this. Wrong persistence may be the only other, or the only option other than giving up entirely. And now you'll realise you're back here. To get through here, as you'll see, if you look at the door, and look away from the eye, it shuts. But if you look at the eye, the door stays open. Clever, huh? How the person made this game, I have no idea. A few steps backwards may keep you moving forwards. But I really want to figure out how they made this game and make something similar, because that would be amazing. We know of opportunities to lead some new places. Go and take a closer look. Yeah, that's just weird. I don't actually know what relevance that thing has. But, yeah. I think it's just there to open that door for you or something. Oh god, not this place. This is creepy as shit, especially if you're walking and you look behind you and there's that. That just gets the heck out of your hat. Especially you're walking through a dark tunnel, 